this video is to help other people who deal with the same mental illness and give a well some uh, talk about my own experience because I'm not a professional of mental mental health or whatever. I am not, I just clarify this and everything that I'll say is from my own viewpoint and just my own experience with agoraphobia. Um, yeah, so agoraphobia is an anxiety disorder. It is the extreme fear of leaving the house, going outside, and just living life. Um, uh, it, it, agoraphobia makes makes you think uh, that if you go outside you have a panic attack you something terrible is about is going to happen and you'll feel you'll, com you'll, you'll be completely helpless in a large crowd that, and no one's going to be there for you uh, what's the cause of agoraphobia um well uh, in my own experience, I'm saying the cause is a really long time of stress and anxiety and fear. Uh, since I was a little child, I, I always uh, had this kind of feeling. And suddenly when I was 17, it all blew out. But everything was but the stress uh, started as long as I can remember myself through it. Uh, what the, was the trigger in my own experience? Uh, the trigger was the high level of anxiety I had when I was studying uh, uh, my final exams of uh, senior high school to get into a university. I was studying really hard and suddenly I dealt with uh, really serious stuff that I never dealt with before. Um, uh, one day I, I would hear about panic attacks and this kind of stuff and I wouldn't know what it meant. And then I experienced it, and then uh, I learned what what it is, what's happening to me. Um, so uh, I was studying really hard to get into the university. I really wanted, and first thing is uh, that I suddenly couldn't breathe. That I had a really difficulty in breathing. I felt weak from nauseous and so many other physical symptoms. Um, I I believe that I was physically ill, so um, I went uh, into all these uh, tests to see what's wrong with my body, and I have all these symptoms, but really nothing was physically wrong. But Later, I understood what all this meant. Uh, so a year of hard uh, studying goes by, and I get into the university I want. I get into law school, and I pretty much did great, even though I dealt with the shit. Um, and then. Uh, plan is to have a relaxed, uh, chilled out summer, but that's not how it goes at all. Um, after this year uh, of uh, having all these weird physical symptoms, uh, I completely collapsed. And um, I, I had uh, panic attacks almost every day. I felt sick 
I spend around a month uh, mainly laying on the bed, uh, homebound. Uh, some days I would be alone, some days I wouldn't eat, some days I would sleep a lot, some days I could not sleep, and it was hell. And I did not know what the fuck was going on with me. I felt scared and felt weak and confused about my situation. I felt like I was losing my mind. Quickly I became scared to leave the house because uh, I just couldn't leave the secure environment of the house. Uh, I just the idea of leaving the house and doing something outside completely stressed me out and it was out of the question. So then uh, my mom was like, okay, something is happening to you and we cannot let this go further and you need to go see someone. And that was a great great thing to say. I went to therapy and I, I began therapy and with lots of discussion I started realizing uh, the, the source of the problem and what was the problem was because I didn't know what the fuck was going on with me. Like why I felt so sick, why I felt nauseous, why I felt dizziness all the time, why I couldn't leave my home without feeling completely ill, without feeling passing out. Uh, so I was just starting to realize stuff. But then I did a terrible bad mistake and I went out of therapy for some months think that I was doing fine on my own, but I was wrong and I recollapsed for another time after some months of no therapy and then I went and saw another doctor and, uh, and uh, he prescribed me medication for what he diagnosed me with, agoraphobia. And hopefully, uh, and thankfully, I'm doing okay. I've been to therapy for more than a year now, and yeah, I forgot to say that I'm 10 years old now, and for this all this thing uh, started when I was 17, so I have this for three years and more. Um, yeah, I'm doing fine, I'm teaching. Uh, I just, I'm just looking at my notes because I write down stuff to have a more uh, organized talk. Uh, so, group of people want to say it's really persistent of uh, mental illness. It won't go away easily, and you you have to find the source of the problem. And even if you find it, you go to analyze it and it takes lots of work and lots of discussion um, it takes time and it's okay um, it can uh, ruin your life and it can keep you from doing things that you really love um, the more space you give to the illness the weaker you feel the weaker you become uh, so, it is a bad if uh, you feel that something is wrong, and this is generally speaking, not just if you feel that you may have agoraphobia, but if you feel that you're not okay, ask for help, ask a parent, ask a sibling, ask a friend, ask a teacher, Ask someone you feel comfortable with, and they'll help you. Um, please visit a psychologist or a psychiatrist. You can uh, find uh, public places that can provide you with uh, 
consultation, you can go see a private doctor, free your summary options, and you really need to find help because you cannot deal with the internal stuff on your own. You need help. And life is too short to suffer. So please get help and live your life and don't let anything, any stupid organisms ruin your life, ruin your future. Because the more you stay with no therapy, without help, the more space the illness has in your life. Uh, so you have to act kind of quickly. Um, so, if uh, you get help and you get uh, diagnosed with agoraphobia, um, well, I got some tips for you, my friends. So, try really hard to go out, even if going out means like going to the corner next to your house, just do it. Even if, if this is the only walk you can do for the day, if you feel like you cannot walk any further, do that. And it's really, it's, it's so important. And it might seem like a really um, uh, such a little walk, but uh, take such a huge step someday. And I've been there, and I know. And after coming to home after such a little work, I felt so proud of myself. And if you try, you should feel proud too. Uh, keep busy. Uh, try to have uh, things to do, places to be, have sports, hobbies. Uh, plan. Uh, Plan to hang out with your friends, just stay busy and not focus on fear, not focus on the illness, focus on your life. So that is it, that is one, that is two, actually. And third tip is even if you feel sick, exiting the house, even if you feel like nauseous, dizziness, uh, whatever. Just push yourself, please push yourself as hard as you can. Because if you do not push yourself to go further, the illness will push you down. That's how it goes, and please don't let it happen. So push yourself, get out of the door. And probably you'll feel like dying at this point, but guess what? You're not gonna die. I swear to you, you're not gonna die. You may feel like dying, you may feel like passing out, you may pass out. That's the worst case, and that was one of my that 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 is still kind of my biggest fear going outside when I have high anxiety that I'll pass out but that never happened to me and it's, it's quite rare to pass out but even if you pass out it's okay someone will help you even a stranger someone of them will help you You're, nothing terrible is going to happen to you so close yourself a little tip uh, if you have if you feel like you have a difficulty in breathing um, maybe trying to breathe you get more oxygen than you ask hello everyone today I want to do a different video um, the, the goal of this video is to help other people who deal with the same mental illness and give as well some uh, talk about my own experience because I'm not a professional of mental mental health or 
whatever. I am not just for this and everything that I say is from my own viewpoint and just my own experience with agoraphobia. Um, yeah, so agoraphobia is an anxiety disorder. It is the extreme fear of leaving the house, going outside, and just living life. Um, uh, it, it, agoraphobia make, makes you think um, that if you go outside, you have a panic attack, you something terrible is about is going to happen, and you'll feel you you'll, you'll be completely helpless in a large crowd, that, and no one's going to be there for you. Uh, what's the cause of agoraphobia? Um, well, uh, in my own experience, I'm saying the cause is a really long time of stress and anxiety and fear. Uh, since I was a little child, I, I always uh, had this kind of feeling. And Suddenly, when I was 17, it, it all blew out, but everything was but the stress uh, started as long as I can remember myself. Really. Uh, what the, was the trigger in my own experience? Uh, the trigger was the high level of anxiety. I had when I was studying uh, uh, my final exams of uh, senior high school to get into a university. I was studying really hard and suddenly I dealt with uh, really fear stuff that I never dealt with before. And um, one day I, I would hear about panic attacks and this kind of stuff and I wouldn't know what it meant and then I experienced it and then uh, I learned what, what it is, what's happening to me. Um, so, uh, I was studying really hard to get into university, I really wanted and First thing is uh, that I suddenly couldn't breathe, like I had a really difficulty in breathing. I felt weak, I felt nauseous and so many other physical symptoms. Um, I, I believe that I was physically ill, so um, I went uh, into all these uh, tests to see what's wrong with my body and I have all these symptoms but really nothing was physically wrong but yeah later I understood what all these meant uh, so a year of hard uh, studying goes by and I get into the university I want I get into law school and I pretty much did great, even though I dealt with the shit. Um, and then, um, um, the plan is to have a relaxed, uh, chilled out summer, but that's not how it goes at all. Um, after this year, uh, of uh, having all these weird physical symptoms, uh, I completely collapsed. And um, I, I had uh, panic attacks almost every day. I felt sick 24 7. I spent um, a month uh, mainly laying on bed. Um, Homebound. Uh, some days I would eat a lot, some days I wouldn't eat, some days I would 
with the blood some days I could not sleep and was hell and I did not know what the fuck was going on with me I felt scared and felt weak and confused about my situation I felt like I was losing my mind quickly I became scared to leave the house because uh, I just couldn't leave the secure environment of the house uh, I just the idea of leaving the house and doing something outside completely stressed me out and it was out of the question so then uh, my mom was like uh, there is something that is happening to you and we cannot let this go further and you need to go see someone and that was a great great thing to say. I went to therapy and I I began therapy and with lots of discussion I started realizing that, uh, the source of the problem and what the problem was because I didn't know what the fuck was going on with me like why I felt so sick, why I felt nauseous, why I felt dizziness all the time why I couldn't leave my home without feeling completely ill, without feeling passing out. Because uh, I was just starting to realize stuff. But then I did a terrible fucking mistake and I went out of therapy for some months, think that I was doing fine on my own. But I was wrong and I recollapsed for another time after some months of no therapy and then I went and saw another doctor and, uh, and uh, he prescribed me medication for what he diagnosed me with agoraphobia. I'm doing okay. I've been to therapy for more than a year now, and yeah, I forgot to say that I'm 20 years old now. And for this, all the things that I started when I was 17, and so I have this for three years and more. Um, yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm teaching. Uh, I just, I'm just looking at my notes. Because I wrote down stuff to have a more uh, organized talk. Uh, so, group of people want to say it's really persistent of uh, mental weakness. It won't go away easily, and you you have to find the source of the problem. And if then you find it, you go to analyze it, and it takes lots of work and lots of discussion. Um, it takes time. And it's okay. Um, it can uh, ruin your life. Then it can keep you from doing things that you really love. Um, the more space you give to the illness, the weaker you feel. The weaker you become. Uh, so it is a bad if. Uh, you feel that something is wrong and this is generally speaking not just if you feel that you may have agoraphobia but if you feel that you're not okay ask for help ask a parent ask a sibling ask a friend ask a teacher ask someone you feel comfortable with and they'll help you uh, Please visit a psychologist or a psychiatrist. You can uh, find uh, public places that can provide you with uh, consultation. You can go see a private doctor. Please, there are so many options, and you really need to find help because you cannot do this uh, internal stuff on your own. You need help. 
and life is too short to suffer. So please get help and live your life and don't let anything, any stupid audiences ruin your way, ruin the future. Because the more you stay with no therapy, without help, the more space the illness has in your life. Uh, so you have to act kind of quickly. Um, so if uh, you get help and you get uh, diagnosed with agoraphobia, um, well, I got some tips for you, my friends. So try really hard to go out. Even if going out means like going to the corner next to your house, just do it. Even if if this is the only work you can do for the day, if you feel like you cannot walk any further, do that. And it's really it's it's so important. And it might seem like a really um, uh, it's a little word, but uh, take such a huge step someday and not bring there and I know and not uh, coming to home after such a little work I felt so proud of myself and if you try you should feel proud too uh, keep busy um, try to have uh, things to do places to be have sports Hobbies, uh, plan, uh, plan to hang out with your friends, just stay busy, do not focus on fear, do not focus on the illness, focus on your life. So that is it, that's one, that's two actually. And third tip is even if you feel sick exiting the house, even if you feel like nauseous, dizziness, uh, whatever, just push yourself, please push yourself as hard as you can. Because if you do not push yourself to go further, the illness will push you down. That's how it goes. And please don't let it happen. So push yourself. Get out of the door and probably you'll feel like dying at this point, but guess what? You're not gonna die. I swear to you, you're not gonna die. You may feel like dying, you may feel like passing out, you may pass out. That's the worst case, and that was one of my that 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 is still kind of my biggest fear going outside when I have high anxiety that I'll pass out, but that never happened to me, and it's, it's quite rare to pass out, but even if you pass out, it's okay, someone will help you, even a stranger, someone that will help you, You're, nothing terrible is going to happen to you, so close yourself, a little tip is uh, because is to stabilize your oxygen levels because if you feel like you cannot breathe you may breathe that you may actually breathe more than you should you may actually take more oxygen than you should and that results in feeling dizzy so just a little tip uh, is to fail i'll demonstrate it for you is to breathe take a deep breath from your from your nose And exhale from your mouth. Repeat this uh, for how many times you need, and this will stabilize the oxygen oxygen level in your brain and make you feel better. So now you're outside, you feel like shit, and you start. You try to stop, to control your breaths. Great. Drink some water. Buy. Get a snack. 
and does yourself first push push for some time and the more you'll be outside the better you'll feel do not succumb to the illness do not go back inside uh, yeah a little thing that i do sometimes when i'm uh, out and i feel like i'm about to have a panic attack uh, is uh, that um, i focus on the face of a stranger and i look how calm uh, uh, I look at their face. I really focus on that. I, and I think to myself, and I'm like, okay, yeah, this person is so completely calm. Everything is okay. Do not need to feel stress. Do not need to feel in a panic. Everything is normal. It's a normal day. People are okay and this person seems completely calm and you should be too and that uh, really helps me so it might help some of you as well um really important as well is to talk to a friend to whoever you feel comfortable with so ask a friend to accompany you to join you to a walk to a trip to whatever you need uh, you're not the burden, people, there are so many people who love you, who want to help you, who want to see you happy, you're not the burden. Ask for help and you'll get it. And last, but not least, uh, even if I say that a lot of times to push yourself and go out and do not succumb, some days you will feel that you cannot function and that's okay as well uh, just don't overdo it for example you one day you just want to chill at home you want to see movies you want to stay on bed you want to eat uh, your favorite junk food whatever you want to indulge yourself um, well great if you feel like you need to do this but don't overdo it so then the illness will attack and will make you want to stay more and more and that's not good so pretty much that is all i have to say uh, well i have really more to say actually but in more details, uh, more stuff like because agoraphobia is an anxiety disorder, it goes hand by hand with uh, depression, uh, with panic attacks, as I, but I, you know, I have a lot to say, a lot more to say in detail, but uh, just a general uh, picture of agoraphobia and my story. Um, so, of course, if you want to leave any comments, if you want to leave uh, your story, uh, any tips, uh, whatever, everything is welcome down in, the, down in the comment section, so please leave your comment and I'll reply. So, thank you so much guys for watching, I love you super much. And I'm going to see you next time.